Good morning. Oh, hold on, I got some dirt. <laughs> so I know if I'm dirty if when I'm doing these videos. Friday, June 2nd, day 13 of our Deertissima attempt. It's early and it's hot. It's gonna be nice when the rain breaks this muggy humidity. Uh, it's like 64 degrees already and it's barely five in the morning a little after so not surprisingly slept really well last night even though it was a little on the warmer side I did have the fly on but I just had um, all the vestibule doors open and uh, it was comfortable enough and plus I was <laughs> exhausted still a little I think once I get moving, I'll be fine, and it'll be nice because um, once we get to the junction with the three mountains we're going to hit first today, Wiley, Field, and Tom. Um, Wiley and Field is an out and back, so my plan is to dump my pack, and I've still got a bunch of water from the hut, so I'm going to carry that to the junction. And then right before I take off for Wiley and Field, I have like about a liter of water and I'll drink as much as I can before I go. Uh, so I won't need to bring any water with me for that little out and back. And then um, for Tom, same thing, just leave the pack near the junction, hidden in the shade and then go. So that'll be good that I won't have a full pack on all day. Although the pack right now is feeling pretty good even when I have the full thing on. It's uh, much later than when I started 13 days ago. <laughs> but it's still nice to not have that pack when you're climbing the mountains. So that's good. And then hopefully, depending on time of day, um, I can get down to Crawford Notch, maybe dispose of some trash and then scoot right back up to Mount Jackson. And it'll depend on the time of day and what the weather's doing at that point. But if, it if it's like already raining, I might take Crawford Path to go directly to the tent site up there. Um, if it's still looking pretty good, then I'll go up the Jackson Webster Trail, hit Jackson, and then from up there on the ridge, go to the tent site. Um, that'll save me a mile or two. Um, instead of doing an out and back from the tent site to Jackson, which is how I did it last year, but there was some nasty weather coming in. So that's our early morning plans. Uh, a nice peaceful morning. No mice bothering me this morning, which is nice. Um, yeah, so we're gonna finish this coffee, brush our teeth, wash our hands. And get moving. We'll see you. Uh, see you on the trail. All right, we made it to the trail junction. Quiet Friday morning. On to the Wiley Range Trail. Day 13 update. We're still on the A to Z Trail. We've been steadily climbing for the most part since we uh, left the hut area. And we should be at the trail junction for Wiley uh, Range Trail soon. It's like um, 6.45 now. So yeah, nice and cool in the trees. Um, this trail is much uh, more enjoyable this year. Last year there was still so much snow melt on here. It was just uh, wet feet the whole way. And uh, this year I've got new socks on and I've got dry trail runners. So, so far it's been pretty good. All right, man, what a climb that was. Well, we made it to the trail junction. We're gonna go 
for Field and Wiley. Just doing out and back. And then we gotta come back, go a little further up the trail, and then hit Mount Tom. So let's go get Field and Wiley first and then have some more H2O and then go bag Tom. Uh, I just drank a bunch of water, so I'm gonna be good for this little out and back. See up there. All right, we're getting really close to number 29, Mount Field. Welcome to Mount Field. The tree in summit, but there's a little, a little viewpoint over here. You can see uh, the Mount Washington Hotel in all its glory. Down there, oops, we just lost it. There you go, right there. So right now it's looking like a nice day, but we know the rain's coming, so we're gonna keep marching on. Next stop, Mount Wiley. We'll see you there. All right, it's almost nine o'clock. We made it to the summit of Mount Wiley. Treed in, not much to see. So now we're gonna head all the way back. All right, day 13 update. We just bagged Wiley and Field. Um, so up to 30, the big three zero. And now we're taking the Mount Tom Spur to go get number 31. All right, day 13, we made it to the summit of Tom. Number 31, let's head on back down. We gotta go all the way back down to uh, Crawford Notch 302 and then get up the other side. So gonna keep moving. All right, we made it back down to the trail spur. We're gonna uh, reorganize our backpack, get the food back accessible, and start making our way down to Crawford Notch, which is gonna be 2.3, give or take. Day 13 update, it's a little afternoon. We just got back down from uh, Mount Tom rest here at the Highland Center for a little bit at the restroom area. The water fountain is working. We've got some cold tailwind going. And then uh, we'll get ready to start climbing up to hit Mount Jackson. But nice shady breezy spot right here. So feels good. All right, gonna start our climb up to Mount Jackson. All right, day 12 update. We're still climbing up towards Mount Jackson. We're about to hit the intersection with the Webster Trail. There was one really loud bang of thunder about 15, 20 minutes ago, and then another smaller one. Um, but that's been it. Thunderstorms are predicted, but I'm hoping they hold off for a while. We'll see. Stay tuned. We're getting closer. 1.2 to the summit. Day 13, update. We made it to the top of Jackson. There's Washington behind us. Maybe you can see that black smoke over there. That's the, uh, the cog coming up right there. And then that little structure right there, that is the Mitzpah hut. We're heading that direction to the uh, hopefully the tent site there. There's been intermittent thunder right now. Things look good, but um, there definitely is forecast for storms tonight. So I'm going to keep on moving. All right, day 13. We made it to the Newman tent site. Luckily, there's a spot open, so we checked in with the hut. Still hearing rumblings of thunder, but no rain yet. So I'm going to. Uh, just boogie to get everything set up here, just in case that rain starts to come crashing down. We'll keep everything nice and dry. Check in in a bit. All right, well, we've got camp set up and there's been a lot of thunder and lightning and ominous clouds up there. So it was initially predicted for six and it's um, like 4.30 right now, so 
we'll get a nice breeze coming in. It'll cool things down. Definitely have some hot beverages tonight, so that'll be awesome. Well, that was close. <clears throat> we just got the finishing touches done on the tent. Just um, got some rocks and sticks to stake out the tent a little better in case it's windy tonight. And uh, it's 4.30 and the rain has just officially started. There's a, um, one other camper here at the tent site and then a, a younger couple just showed up and they were just getting their tent set up. So hopefully they're getting their fly on. Um, but yeah, the rain has officially started and we are not in it. Hooray. All right, day 13 recap. Friday, June 2nd, 2023. Another big day today. We got four peaks in. Pretty good. Field, Wiley, Tom. And then we went down to Crawford Notch. Went up the Jackson Webster Trail. Tagged Jackson. Heard a lot of thunder. And got to the um, Mitzvah Springs Hut where the tent site is. Set up the tent and then the rain started. I'm really looking forward to things cooling down a bit. So we had that like passing thunderstorm, lasted about 15 minutes. And then um, right after that, the sun came back out again in all of its glory, which is nice, but it still hasn't like broken that heat yet, but it's coming. Um, more rain coming tonight, almost an inch, and temperatures are gonna fall down 15 degrees, which is gonna be really nice. Um, yeah, it's like so, now that the sun is like not on my tent, I can almost like eat something now. But it was just so hot. And there's some bugs out, so hung outside for a little bit, but after a while the bugs get annoying and I didn't wanna, didn't wanna throw deed on and have it on all day. So yeah, good day. Um, chatted up a few folks at the hut staying here at the hut. I think they're getting one of their talks now about um, how things work at the hut, which is cool. Um, hopefully getting early, early to bed, early to rise. That's been the routine. It's been awesome. I think uh, I may have to put some layers on tonight. Hopefully we'll see at least a hat. I hope um, and some layers on starting tomorrow. It looks like it's going to be cloudy. Uh, maybe the sun will pop out, but it should be pretty comfortable hiking weather. Um, and looking forward to both Lake of the Clouds Hut, maybe for some baked goods after their breakfast, depending on what time I get there. I might get there right at breakfast, who knows. Um, and then Mount Washington, where hopefully I can get real food some of that tasty pizza or whatever. Um, and depending on the time of day before I make my way over to isolation. Um, last year when I did this, I was able to do Pierce, Eisenhower, Monroe, Washington, all in one shot, so that won't be a problem. And then start making my way towards isolation. Um, so we'll see how it goes this year, especially I will stop and hang out at Washington for a while if um, if their food place is open, definitely. So firmed up a resupply with Sarah for Sunday morning. So it's Friday night. So I'll get to see Sarah in a couple days. Um, the one pair of hiking pants I've been wearing, um, I've been doing some repairs on them just the cargo pants pockets just from random branches like ripping just the right way they're pretty much torn to shreds and um, I think they reached their last legs uh, I do carry an extra pair of hiking shorts just for these kinds of situations so I'm going to switch out shorts and these will get relegated to uh, the dumpster also my trail runners um, mm, they are definitely on their last legs and the northern prezzies well yeah the, the hike on the rocks to Washington is not going to help the bottom of those trail runners so 
Sarah's bringing a pair of trail runners and I'll most likely switch those out as well. Um, you can still hear the thunder, so there's definitely more on the way, but just glad I got up here and got situated before um, any real rain started. And looking forward to a good night's sleep with rain hitting the tent. And hopefully by the time I'm ready to go tomorrow, the rain has stopped and we can uh, keep motoring in cooler temperatures. So we leave day 13 with 32 peaks done. Pretty good. Um, and another big day tomorrow. So stay tuned. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. Here's the real one. Here's the real storm I've been waiting for. It's already cooled down about 10 degrees. The rain is coming in fast and furious. There's no better sleeping weather than this when it breaks, uh, it breaks in heat wave. All right, see you in the morning.